doing? So thank you for being here again. Today we're going to talk about uh, well, a topic that um, has been discussed a lot lately on social media or uh, websites in general and it concerns uh, uh, the possible endings or greetings we can use in formal emails. Okay, so for business, at work, or whatever. And uh, so the, 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 the question is, okay, is this expression still possible? Yours sincerely. We study this expression, we study this greeting on a daily basis, on uh, books, especially when we study English as a foreign language, not only in Italy, but also abroad. We find this expression a lot. Uh, in our books and our teachers say that we should actually use it in formal situations. Now, is that true? Well, of course it does exist, okay? Of course it does. But nowadays nobody will ever use it. Um, we can say that Oscar Wilde or Charles Dickens would have gladly used this expression here, but for sure we don't want to use Wilde's or Dickens language today while we're at work. And if we do use this expression or the other one yours faithfully, well, of course, the recipient on the other side will understand that we are doing our best and uh, our effort is to be as kind as possible and, uh, okay, of course, they will understand our good intention, but the, the idea they will have is that we are absolutely not familiar with, uh, uh, we can say, the language we should use nowadays. There are some fields, very specific fields, where these this expressions here can be used, okay, yours sincerely, yours faithfully. For example, legal documents, okay, but this is something very specific and it has nothing to do with everyday life, okay. So, which alternatives do we have? Which greetings can we actually use while writing an email or, I don't know, a letter? We don't write so many letters, uh, but, um, I don't know, messages or texts or whatever. So, there are a few alternatives here with different uh, nuances, okay, of uh, formality or, uh, we can say, um, say professionalism. The first one is best regards. This is absolutely common and it's got uh, many different nuances so it's very very useful for us. Uh, it shows respect for sure, uh, it shows professionalism as well and good intention. When I say good intention I say that I'm writing something that is not completely casual, okay, uh, and I'm, I, I show my intention to be kind and to reach out to the other person, so this is why I wrote good intention, okay. And uh, um, yes, there is some familiarity there uh, and I don't mean, by familiarity I don't, I don't mean that you can use best regards while um, writing to your friends or family members, but uh, um, it is perfectly fine if you use it while writing to co-workers or team members, because you have, well, you, you know the other people and the, the, the environment is still very formal, but at the same time you want to be kind, okay, so this is perfectly fine. Then, there are two different shortened form of best regards. The first one is just regards and the other one is just best. But they are not the same, okay? There are some differences. Let's see which differences there are. So the first one, regards, is obviously less formal uh, than the the, 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 the full, okay, the full greeting best regards. It's, this is absolutely less formal and more casual. It's absolutely casual, okay, it's quite neutral, so I don't want to express anything, anything specific, anything special here. I'm just, uh, okay, finding a, we can say, a very easy way to uh, close my, my email. The second one, best, which is arguably uh, one of the most used greetings nowadays. Now, I don't have 
stats and I can't say that for sure but I can tell you that it is used a lot. So this is still less formal than best regards, this is still a shortened form, form but it is very very professional so this is less formal than best regards but more formal than just regards. It's absolutely professional, okay, and it's absolutely um, very good and very, uh, well, it's, it, it gives you a very good impression and that, that, that's absolutely um, very, very common, okay, so uh, it's absolutely, uh, maybe it's more used than best regards nowadays. Then, let's see a few other forms here. Another one is kind regards. Kind regards is obviously quite similar to best regards, okay? There's a slight difference because kind regards uh, is uh, slightly more formal. Um, and in fact, you can use it when introducing yourself or your company, maybe, in a very formal way. And so this is fine, okay? Um, so this is a bit more formal, yes, definitely, um, but okay, they're both good and possible. The other one here, warmest regards, well, uh, this is less common. Um, it shows appreciation, even, uh, well, affection, maybe affection is too much, but just to give you the idea, this is definitely more personal, but of course it's too formal to be used <clears throat> uh, maybe while writing to a family member or a, or a friend if we have a close relationship but it can be used if it is uh, still a family member or a, or, a, or a co-worker or maybe a friend that isn't very close and so we want to show um, appreciation and to write something warm but at the same time our relationship is quite formal so I can use this but it's not extremely extremely common so warmest regards it exists anyway and uh, least but not last thank you now thank you or thanks in advance which we can use when we are asking for something okay for information or pleasure or something um, so I'm thanking someone before they do something for us um, well they are definitely as I wrote here short and concise and we know that the English language tend to be very concise so yeah it's got some advantages but at the same time um, it's absolutely casual and it doesn't add anything to your communication uh, it doesn't uh, show anything, it doesn't uh, define anything, it doesn't define you, it doesn't define the kind of communication you want to have with the other person on the other side. So, well, if you pick one of the others, it should be better, but sometimes you use this because you are not sure of the level of formality that you want to use, okay? So before having a real uh, relationship to the other person and before maybe um, knowing which kind of relationship they want and how formal you should be. This expression here, so thank you, a very casual thank you, uh, can um, well be a sort of a very uh, neutral uh, <laughs> way to close a conversation without exposing yourself too much. My personal advice should be uh, to use this uh, um, in addition to another greeting. Okay, so thanks in advance and then, okay, best or reg regards or whatever you want to write, okay, because you're thanking, you're being kind and at the same time you're also offering a better greeting. Pay attention to the expression looking forward, looking forward to your kind reply, looking forward to something, because it is formal, very formal really, uh, and it is possible and correct and used, but it can sound a little bit demanding, okay, like you're pushing the other person because you want something back and you want it right now, so it can sound a little bit too, too demanding, yes. So. Yeah, it, it exists, it's possible, but pay attention when you use it, maybe you add something else that is more, uh, I don't know, it's kinder or it's more, <laughs> it's, it's, it's less formal. Oh, 
Yes, bonus uh, feature here. Sincerely, alone without yours can be used most definitely but it is extremely, extremely, extremely formal and uh, it can be used in very specific situations like for example job applications or potential partnerships uh, it shows it really uh, you really want to show your professionalism there and sometimes uh, it's good um, some other times uh, it shows uh, um, well, I don't know, your intention to be as professional as possible, which is even too much. But anyway, it does exist and it is used when it is a very, very, very super formal situation, okay? But sincerely, not yours sincerely or yours faithfully, because as I said before, uh, it's great, we can find it when we read literature and it's absolutely great. But nowadays it would sound extremely outdated and um, weird, just weird, <laughs> okay? So if you have studied that, I'm not saying this is wrong, I'm not saying your teachers were wrong, I'm not saying your books were wrong, I'm just saying it's not used anymore. So we have to uh, learn to teach, in my case, and to learn an active language, okay? So this is why I wanted to talk about this today. And if you want, I can talk about uh, informal emails as well, okay? In order to avoid some forms like love, okay? Which are always taught and uh, we can always find them in books, but okay, there are other forms, other greetings and other ways to write informal uh, emails as well. So thank you very much for following me. I hope it was useful for you. And I want, I just want to say thank you. Okay, I just want to say <laughs> thank you specifically to those of you who have decided to help and support my channel using PayPal and that's absolutely an amazing gesture I'm so grateful uh, I really really appreciate that uh, some people ask me so I'm saying this here so um, all of you can actually listen um, so uh, they asked me how it is possible to donate something to the channel now you can go to the home page of the channel and there is the PayPal button you can click on the button and you can donate there you can use paypal in general okay and the address is the same address the email of the channel basically so you find it in the description below and it is admayoratutor at uh, gmail.com of course if you have a problem with the spelling because it's a Latin, Ad Maiora is a Latin greeting, okay? Uh, so um, you can find the email here below. So thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. It's very important for me and it's, it's, it's a, well, I, 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 I really feel like, um, like you're, you, you want to be part of this project. So this is a great, a great uh, feeling, okay, for me. So thank you so very much. And see you very soon again with uh, the English language and literature, American language and literature and Italian language and German language and literature and so on and so on. Thank you so very much. See you soon.